Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, today we're working on uh, a little bit more in the sequencing grids and some options that you might find in x lights that you probably are not aware of. Actually, most people may not even know that there is the functionality of being able to change colors for our timing marks or just in general colors throughout the entire uh, uh, layout of x lights. So what I want to do today is kind of open you up to a world of color and bring you into uh, something that might be a little bit easier or better for you, especially if you have uh, challenges or you have color blindness or you have hard time seeing certain colors. Maybe this is something that can help you while you are working within the X-Lights program. But before we get into that, I want to uh, talk about the uh, brand new PPD Sequence Club uh, Sequence of the Month. This is uh, March 2019, and as you see right here, this is the uh, actual the monthly sequence, the Lego sequence from the Lego Movie 2. And uh, it is the monthly sequence. If you sign up this month, you get this sequence along with four preset effects. You also get access to the monthly vendor specials, and you get awesome savings from uh, from different vendors in our hobby that support our hobby, such as uh, Wired Watts, uh, Crockett Fantasy Lights, Pixel Sequencing, Boscoyo Studios, Scott LED, and a ton more of people who really support our community. So if you sign up for the PPD Club, you get awesome discounts on some of their merchandise. They offer different monthly uh uh, discounts and different things. So uh, with that being said, let's get right into some of the settings for our colors that you see that are available. So if we go to the settings menu and we scroll down, we click on color manager, we can bring over this, bring us right here into the middle. Um, the, uh, the color manager is really helpful. Uh, it actually came about because I personally have a hard time seeing, I, I'm not colorblind, but I have a hard time seeing this dark blue whenever it is a timing color. And uh, so the color manager uh, was something that Gil added in. Uh, I would say it was, um, I would say it was in uh, summer 2016, maybe 17. Um, and we have now the ability to go in and change the color of our timing tracks depending on its location on the grid here. So I have no trouble seeing the aqua color. Uh, I have trouble seeing the red. Um, the, the lime green is usually not a problem and the yellow is a great, anything pastel works great for me, but the darker it gets, the harder it is to see on the physical, uh, on the physical sequence screen. So uh, we'll go through and we can change these up and uh, I'll show you like, here's orange. Orange is a great color to add in because it's nice and bright. Uh, if we want to change the blue, we can go to like a fuchsia or I don't know, purple, a light purple of some sort. And you can see that that takes place right there immediately. You can get uh, immediate feedback and so forth on those. Now that that's great for timing tracks, but what about the rest of the color manager and what the, what the rest of it kind of does and some of the options that have been added in for it. So as you can see, we have the effects grid and then we also have the layout tab. So if we go over to the layout tab, this is some of the changes that you can make to make it a little bit more easy uh, whenever you are making changes over there to kind of help you out a bit. So if we go to the effects grid, we see that we can change our timings. Our, our default setting is white. So the, notice how these are white up here you could change these to whatever color that you prefer. Um, that's just the main line up above. So I just change it to that fuchsia color. You can change it to, I don't know, um, the blue green color or whatever, whatever color that really suits you and makes, makes it a little bit better for you. Um, so, and here's your effects colors. So here's the standard unselected effect color is this white gray color. Uh, and you can you can actually make it whatever you want. If you want them all to be yellow, you can make them all yellow. Um, uh, we can also go in and we can uh, change the effect selected color. So right now you see this purpley color of this selected effect there. We can change it to, let's say, blue, uh, the aqua. And um, I don't know that that actually changed it. It should have. Oh, it's referenced effect. The selected effects would be if I had a bunch of them selected, maybe. Um, uh, if we can change the reference effect to that blue, see if that did it. Yeah, that did it right there. So you can see we're, we're, we're able to do a lot of different things. We also can change the row header color. If you want to change the row header uh, color to, like, let's change it to black. And now you can't read any of the letters, but if we, we can change this to white and we can have, like, kind of like a high def or um, 
not high def, I can't remember, high contrast. That's like what Windows does. So notice my mouse pointer is black. That's because I like that black color for the mouse pointer. Um, and we have the row headers, uh, or the uh, row header selected. So you can see it's that blue color, that faded blue, that kind of almost Windows blue color. We can make it purple. Sure, we can make it purple. So it'll kind of stand out. Um, dash, uh, dashed selected. So when you click and drag on the timing grid, you get this yellow dash selected. You can change that color as well. You also have grid lines. So um, the grid lines, I think, those are these backgrounds here. What if... What if we change those to, I don't know. We'll see if there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of play with this. There's a lot of things that you can play with. So um, it looks like, it looks like there's a little bit difference there with the grid lines in the background. We've got uh, label lines, we got label. So here's your labels. Uh, I can't zoom in now because you can't see it very well. There's some, the, that, that label is that almond color. We could probably make it green if we wanted to. See, there's a green. And, um, you know, there's a lot here. The phonemes and words. If you had uh, singing faces here, you could do that as well. Um, we could go with locked effects. If you have locked effects, those are usually red. I don't have any locked effects here where it will actually activate. Maybe I do. Let's try. Let's try. Let's see. But I, I think it's only if it's active. Um, That might be the referenced ones. So uh, I don't have any of those referenced right now. But as you can see, there's a functionality here that is far beyond what you ever expected. Now, if you love this new color, um, this new color manager, and you have this set up exactly how you like, oh, let's do the waveform. Because sometimes the waveform, uh, when you select it, this is that dark blue. Let's change the waveform color. We can do that too. I think that's pretty cool. What if we did this to black? So now we should have a black waveform up here. I don't know why it didn't change. Maybe I grabbed the wrong color. Let's click OK. Yeah, there it is. So, so yeah, I think that's a, I think that's pretty interesting um, as far as functionality and so forth. Um, the other thing, the other side of the coin is is that if you are moving from this version of X Lights onto say your laptop or a second computer that you might be sequencing off of, you can actually uh, click export and you can export this as as um, uh, TNT delete me so that way we have the functionality of, of, of being able to um, uh, being able to uh, export this and we can save it and let's say uh, we have let's say we don't like what we changed we want to restore it to default we have these functionalities so we've exported this we can reset to default. Are you sure you want to reset all colors? Click yes. Now, if you close the box, a horrible thing's gonna happen. It's gonna pop right back to where it was, what you changed it to. You have to go back into settings, color manager, and see down here at the bottom, it says okay. If you click the X, you're canceling. This is the cancel button. But if you click okay, you reset to defaults, click yes. It changes it back to defaults and you can click okay. And then it saves it. So now you can see the difference between them. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you is um, the functionality of importing. So let's say you're now into your X lights on your laptop and you want to, and, and you've shared that file. Now, if I, let me go see if I can find that file uh, real quick off the screen here because I might have done it. So let's see. Uh, I want to go to the pro layout. Pro layout. There it is. Okay, let's change the view to <laughs> details. And let's order it by type of file. Let's go down here to the bottom, and it should be some sort of color X theme. And that's the name. That's the name of the file type that we have. Now, uh, I, I here's that TNT delete me file that I created with that high contrast. I could load that back in, or I could actually go back to my original uh, color layout theme that I like that I created just before starting this video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import that. You could you could carry that file. You could right click and copy uh, or send to. Uh, you can send it in an email or whatever. You can copy it and throw it on your thumb drive and, or whatever. You you know you can carry that over to your uh, computer, your laptop, or whatever the computer you're working on, and load it into there. Go into your settings. You could open up the color manager, and here is where we can click on the import button. If we click import and you go and you find that file. Uh, you can go ahead and click on that file there and it will select it 
and click open and now we're back to what I would consider my default settings that I've created for my timing tracks where it's not what X Slice chose, but it's what I chose. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit long, but also it tells you some of the functionalities of the color manager. Be sure to hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification, uh, the bell notification, so that you know when we post a brand new video every single time here at the PPD website and on the PPD studio here in the YouTube channel. So, thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we will see you in the next video. Chill me with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.